Good morning everyone, it is Daniela Cruz here. Um, today I was going to make a video um, on maybe some different topics, but over the weekend, as probably a lot of you know, um, two things happened. First being um, uh, the girl from The Voice, Christina Grimmy, um, was shot and killed. Um, very tragic. Um, she was a talented girl um, definitely one that was taken from us way too soon and she, we didn't even get to see like her talent explode to what it could have been I mean she was young she was talented she was beautiful she was smart you know um, I remember seeing her on the voice um, and it's just sad so like right now um, my thoughts and prayers go out to her family friends and the millions of fans out there that loved her um, also, as, like I said, um, probably all of you know, remember, the, uh, shooting in Orlando. I can't even begin to tell you, you know, how this has affected me and friends of mine, you know, because I have a lot of gay friends, and, you know, it, it, people in the transgender community, you know, know what people who are gay go through a little bit and you know I don't understand why some people just get so angry about people being different I, I really don't it really upsets me um, the fact that it happened outside a gay bar um, there's still not a lot of details um, about why this guy um, went out on, on this shooting spree but it, it, obviously it was really uncalled for and a lot of people lost their lives so my thoughts and prayers go out to their friends and their families as well. Um, so right now, I'd like all of you who are watching this video, including myself, to take a moment of silence and just reflect on this past weekend, losing of a talented girl and losing tons of people in a massive shooting. So please, just take a minute of a moment of silence. Thank you so much for taking that time, everyone, to have that moment of silence. Yeah, you know, it was really tough because, you know, I, I, I wake up every day and I see things on the news. You know, there's things on the news that affect me personally, and then there's things on the news that just don't. I, or I hear about it and I'm just like, oh, that happened. And that may sound kind of bad to me, but, like, you know, um when things do affect me personally, like, I mean, anything negative on the news affects me, you know, um, when you hear about things that, um, like a celebrity getting divorced and these, all these allegations, you know, that kind of thing also is one of those things where it affects you because you might, you know, like that celebrity or you might have grown up with them, you know, whether it's their music or their movies, you know. Um, but, you know, we, we as humans, you know, feel things differently. Now, you know, I have a couple of people that I know who, I don't want to say hate because that's a strong word, but, um, they're not really for gay, they're not really for, you know, lesbians, they're not really for transgender people, which they've kind of distanced themselves from me, which is fine, which is fine, you know. But, you know, I always say that um, people who act out or act that way towards, you know, you know, gay, straight, lesbians, um, trans, you know, it's not an issue with us. It's an issue with them and not understanding. And, you know, my therapist 
actually asked me a question this week in therapy about um, how I handle, you know, people that do things like that. Now, I've made a video before about people, you know, haters, as I call them. Um, and, you know, as time has gone by, by eh, sorry, as time has gone by for me being transgender, you know, I have dealt with, you know, uh, people who either say things, you know, under their breath, like, like, for an example, I was at the dollar store, like, a couple weeks ago, and I'm standing in line, and I have all my, you know, female products on the conveyor belt, and I'm standing there, and I, you know, I'm very aware of where I am and who's around me, and I noticed there's a, a woman, and I didn't know if it was her two daughters or daughter and a friend or whatever, and they were behind me, and she, like, looks at me, looks back, looks at me, and then looks back at her kids, and then, like, whispers, and, like, she whispers, like, and then she's like, you know, my whole thing was, like, that was obvious that she was talking about me. Now, do I know exactly what she said? No. But I could tell that she was talking about me. In that case, I could have res responded with something. You know, said, hey, you know, talking about me, blah, blah, blah. You know? But in that case, I was out in public. It really didn't bother me that much. So I kind of just let it be. Um, I've had instances where I've gone out in public. And I've seen people look at me. Again, they look at me. They might be looking and being like, oh my god, or they might be thrown off or whatever, but that's okay. You know, they didn't say anything, they didn't do anything. I have had people literally walk by me and call me a freak, call me a faggot, which I hate that word. I absolutely hate it. You know, you know, I've had people you know, write nasty messages, even on here. You know? When I created my new Facebook, which I did quite recently, you know, I was like, okay, you know what? My old Facebook, I had a lot of people I didn't talk to, weren't friends with, you know, I just had them for friends. I told myself it was going to be different. Um, and it, it is, because I only have like 25 friends now on Facebook. And they're all people that I know and that I talk to. Um, but on my old Facebook, when I posted a picture of me saying, I'm transgender and I'm proud, um, I got tons of people who supported me. But then I had people who didn't even know me, who were just friends of friends who saw my picture and decided to comment, write nasty things. Um, I also had a good friend who um, who's, an, who another friend saw the, um, picture in the post, and was like, oh my god, I can't believe, what? Like, he's really doing that? It's like, no, first of all, I'm a she, and second of all, yes, I am doing it, because this is who I am. It's always who I've been, you know, uh, like I said in my earlier videos, I had to keep this a secret for so long. I knew since I was six years old. To keep that secret inside and be just, you know, disgusted with yourself every day. Like, you look in the mirror. It, that was hard. So, you know, this past year, you know, I can't believe it's been a year. That's that's saying something. Uh, I said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to be who I am. And if society doesn't like me or someone in my family, friends don't like me, I don't care. Um sorry about that someone keeps texting me um but you know um society may not like transgender people may not like gay people may not like lesbians but we are who we are and we're not going to change we are just like everyone else we're no different you know so people need to stop with the description the discrimination the hate you know i know that's going to be hard you know, but, you know, we're no different. We are who we are. We're humans. God made us all the same. You know, inside and out. Some of us are just a little different and unique. You know. Um, 
I mean, I really don't know what to say. What else? Um, but if you have any stories of um, things that you've dealt with being transgender, you know, write to me and tell me your story. I want to hear it. I, I want to hear your stories. Um, write to me. Um, email me. Uh, you can comment on this video. Um, as always, you can like and subscribe to my page. Um, but yeah, I mean, this video is a little bit different, like I said. Um, and I don't always know what to say. But, like, you know, I just felt like today was a different day for um, making my YouTube video here. So, um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And I will see you later.